I'll be showing you how to make this crochet granny square and I've got four rounds so one, two, three, four and I've done four colour changes as you can see so I've got the multicolour white, purple then the multicolour again so I've used three yarns and the brand is it's not actually clear um, I bought this from a My Value store so it's just called Knitting Yarn and it's 100% acrylic 8 ply or worsted weight yarn um, so it's just from one of those cheapy stores and with this yarn I've used a 4.5mm hook and you'll also need your craft scissors and a yarn needle this granny square measures 10 by 10 centimeters or 4 by 4 inches. To get started, we've got four chain stitches here, and we're going to do a slip stitch into the first chain stitch that was made. And we're going to form a ring. Now you've got your tail end here, just wrap that back around here and hold it and we're going to work over it. So for round one, we'll chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we'll be doing three double crochet into the ring and working over this tail end. There's one double crochet. Two. Three. And then we'll chain one. Then we'll do another three double crochet. One. Two. Three. Then we'll chain one. And another three double crochet into the ring. One. Two. Three. You can start to see it forming now. And then we'll do a chain one and now we're just going to do two double crochet into the ring one two and we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of this chain and it was a chain four so we want the third chain so you count one two three not the fourth this third one make your slip stitch and there's the first round completed. Now we'll finish off. So just leave a tail there because you'll need to weave that into the back of the work later on with a yarn needle. And just finish off like that. Now we'll be joining the second colour in. And so just find a chain one on the corner of this first round that you did 
and I can see one right there and just pop your hook through that chain one and then get your next coloured yarn, I'm using white and then wrap it around your hook like that pull it through and then get the tail end and just cross it over the working end of the yarn get the working end of the yarn and then pull the yarn tail like that and that secures it to start the next round so for round two we'll chain three one two three and we'll be working into this corner space so we'll do two double crochet into this corner where we joined so there's one double crochet there's two double crochet and we'll chain one and then we're going to do another three double crochet into this same space. One, two double crochets and a third one into that same space. three now we'll chain one and we're going to skip these three double crochet stitches here and we're going to work into the corner here and we'll start with the three double crochets into the corner There's one, two, and you might be able to notice that I'm, I'm working over this end as I go. You don't have to do that. You can weave that in with a yarn needle later. And there's our third double crochet into the corner. Then we'll chain one and do another three into this same corner space. One double crochet. Two double crochet. Three double crochet. Then we're going to repeat that again. So we'll chain one, we'll skip these three double crochet stitches here, and we'll be working into the corner here. And we'll do our three double crochet into the corner. One. three just push that around and then chain one and then another three double crochet stitches into the corner there's one two three and then we're going to chain one and we'll be working into this corner so three double crochet stitches one two 
Sí. Three. And just push that around and chain one. And another three double crochet into that same corner space. One. Two. Three. That's what it looks like so far. And then we'll chain one and we're going to join into the top of the chain three. So one, two, three with a slip stitch. And that's that round finish, so we'll finish off. So cut your yarn, leaving enough tail to work it into the back of the work later on. And there's round two with the second colour. Now we'll be doing the third round with the third colour. And once again, to join in the colour, just find a slip stitch in the corner, any corner is fine, and insert your hook into that chain stitch and get your third colour, wrap it around the hook, leaving a decent amount of tail there to weave in later, and pull it through the chain stitch and get your tail and wrap it over the top of your working end and pull through. Just pull tight on the yarn end, the tail. Okay, so to start round three, we'll chain three. So one, two, three. And we'll be doing two double crochet into this corner here. You can work over the tail. You don't have to, you can weave that in later. There's one double crochet. Two double cro crochet. So that chain at the start counts as a stitch and that's why we're only doing two there. Okay so now we'll chain one and then we'll do three double crochet into this same corner space. One double crochet, two Three. Now we'll chain one and we're going to skip these three double crochet stitches and we're going to do three double crochet into this space here. One, two, three, then we'll chain one. I'm going to skip these three double crochet stitches here on the corner and we'll be working into the corner in between these two sets of three double crochets. So we'll do three double crochet stitches. So one into the same space. 
to three. Just push that around. Chain one and another three double crochet stitches into that same corner space. One. Two. Three. Now we're going to chain one and we'll be working into this space with three double crochet stitches. chain one. Now we work into the corner here <clears throat> skipping these three stitches there. So do three double crochet stitches into the corner. One, two, Three, chain one, and another three double crochet into the same corner space. One, two, three, chain one. And we'll be working into this space here with three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain one, and now we're onto a corner again and working into that corner space. Moving your tails out of the way. We're doing three double crochet stitches into the corner. Just move it around so that you can fit them all in. So there's two. Three. Chain one and still working into this same corner. Another three double crochet stitches. There's one, two, three. So we're getting there. I'll just get some more yarn here. Now we'll chain one and be working into this space here with three double crochet stitches. There's one, two, three. And then we'll chain one and we're just going to work into the top of this chain here. So in the third chain, we're going to join with a slip stitch. So hopefully you can see that. We count one, two, three. And on that third one, slide your hook in. Sometimes it can get a little tricky getting through there. It's a little hard for me to see with dark yarn behind the camera here, but I just got it through. So there we go, and just make a slip stitch. And that's round three completed. And then you're going to cut your yarn, leaving enough tail to weave in through later, and finish off. 
We're up to joining the fourth coloured yarn and I'm just using the multicoloured again. So slip your hook into the corner chain stitch. Any corner is fine. And get your yarn. Wrap it around the hook and pull through. Grabbing the tail, wrapping it over the working end and then doing a slip stitch. Pull the yarn tail tight and we're ready to go for the round four. So we'll start off with a chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to do two double crochet into the corner. There's one double crochet. Two double crochet. And then we'll chain one and into the same corner we'll be doing three double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Then we'll chain one. We're going to skip these three double crochets here and work into this space with three double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Chain one, same here. Three double crochet stitches into the space. One, two, three. Chain one. Now we work into the corner in between the two sets of three double crochet and we're going to go into the corner with double crochet and a second one. It's two double crochet and a third. Three double crochet there in the corner. Then chain one and in the same corner another three double crochet stitches. It's one, two, three. Chain one and into this space three double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Chain one into this space, three double crochet stitches. One, two, three, chain one and we're up to the next corner and we work in between those three sets of, uh, sorry, those two sets of three double crochet stitches. So if you just poke your finger through you can, you can generally see where you need to work into. So we'll put three double crochet stitches into that corner Two, three, and we chain one, and another three double crochet stitches into that same corner. One, two, three, chain one and into this space three double crochet 
One double crochet, two double crochet, and three. Chain one, next space, three double crochet. So by now you're probably getting the hang of it. Chain one, into the corner, three double crochet, one, two, three, pushing that around, chain one, another three double crochet into that corner, one, Two, three, chain one, and three double crochet into the next space. One, two, three, chain one. Three double crochet into this next space. One, two, three, chain one, and then we're going to do a slip stitch into the top of the chain three. So you count. On the bottom, one, two, three, and find your third chain stitch there. I'm having trouble seeing mine. There it is. And just do a slip stitch to join. Now that's the end of that round, so cut your yarn and finish off. And you've got your square there. So you'll need to weave all of these loose ends in into the back. Now with the middle, with the center, the center tail yarn, I just get the needle and I run the needle right around and, and pull it tight. And with these other ones, you weave them into wherever they are, basically just through the back of the stitches there. Um, but whatever colour and tail it is, you want to weave it into the same colour so that it's not noticeable. And uh, once you've done that, you'll have your crochet granny square with four colour changes and four rounds.